Ladies and gentlemen, Tarkov has been back in the rotation for a few streams now, giving me a much needed break from Warzone and Apex Legends, and as badly as I want other games in this space to be go-to's, this video is going to be about why Tarkov is still just the best choice when it comes to an extraction shooter. If you watched my recent video about Grey Zone Warfare, I highlighted six main reasons why I thought the game was subpar and quite frankly unplayable, at least in its current condition. This video is going to follow a similar format, except it's only going to reflect three opinions that I have about why Tarkov is still the best game to play in the extraction shooter space. First and foremost is the systems of the game itself. Tarkov has been out for quite a long time. The vision that Tarkov started as and where it is today is probably some of the most deep systems in a game in general, outside of just extraction shooters and battle royales. The game's interconnectivity and meticulous attention to detail in how all of these markets, traders, character customizations, weapons, ammo, meds, health, etc, etc work is really second to none. The systems just work, at least most of the time. The game pioneered the format that takes place in these systems that games like Grey Zone Warfare have replicated, games like Arena Breakout have replicated. It all started with Tarkov. Now I know there have been other games in the past that had similar menu functionalities. We could even talk about H1Z1 being more of an originator, followed by PUBG. But as far as in-depth and intricate nature of how all of the elements of Tarkov connect, Tarkov stands alone. Now moving on from the systems of the game, the performance of the game. Now again, these are my opinions. I know that everyone is going to have a different take on it. I'll have people in the comments telling me that this isn't their experience of the game at all. I totally get it. My experience of Grey Zone Warfare isn't the same experience that other people are having with Grey Zone Warfare. But generally speaking, Tarkov's performance, compared to where it started to where it is now, is far more consistent and stable than Grey Zone Warfare. I'm not 100% sure about Arena Breakout because it's not public yet, which is going to lead me into my next point. But Tarkov's game is stable. It works very rarely these days, at least on my system. Do I have crashes? Do I have major frame drops? The changes that they've made within the game to the inertia, to the way that gunfights take place and some of the character movement have also helped with that quite a lot. The introduction of DLSS, again for me specifically, helped quite a lot. So the performance of Tarkov compared to a game like Grey Zone Warfare, again, it's not even a question. I want Grey Zone Warfare to be good. I think the introduction of Grey Zone Warfare into the scene as well as Arena Breakout is a great thing for propelling this genre and these games forward. Now, on a side note, I do not support and like my previous video on Battlestate Games' decision to release the unheard edition of the game, I do not support the way that they went about that decision or even the decision itself to do. I still don't support it, and I'm probably personally not going to buy it. However, the introduction of Grey Zone and the introduction of Arena and the backlash that Battlestate received for what they did has at the very least caused them to engage more, to revert some of the things that they said that they were not going to do originally, even though it was an entire fiasco that should have never taken place and represented an ever ongoing problem in the industry of corrupt and fraudulent practice. Grey Zone, however, is just not presenting enough competition to make it possible to leave a game like Tarkov behind. The mechanics are buggy, unfluid, ill-optimized. The game, for me at least, barely runs. Now, Arena Breakout is not a public game yet. I've seen gameplay of Arena Breakout, and it looks like it runs really well, at least on mid to higher end systems. It seems like it is a well-optimized game. I don't know how the game feels, though. 
I have no idea what the game feels like. I don't know what the mechanics are. I don't know what it's going to feel like to run around as a player in this world. I don't know. I like the way it feels to run around as a character in Escape from Tarkov. It feels fluid. It's not always the smoothest experience in the world, but it's flushed out. And that leads me into my third and final point in this video, is that Escape from Tarkov, even though they've made a wide variety of changes, promises, iterations, etc., that have still yet to lead to a 1.0 release has had seven to ten years of ongoing development time and therefore it is a fleshed out game it is a game that has started has been worked on iterated upon and for all intent and purpose come to its natural conclusion as a game if tarkov gets a 1.0 update great i don't think it's going to serve any more purpose than the company being able to say okay there it is we did it i don't see the game introducing or becoming anything new that we don't already have have had or have experienced they've been been iterating and updating the game for years the way that they wanted to. It's not as if we get a 1.0 update and then all of a sudden the game becomes this 180 thing that we've never seen, never heard of, it satisfies all requests we've ever had. That's just not going to happen. If anything, Battlestate will release the 1.0, move on from it to whatever their next project, vision, whatever is, probably continue to update it for a little while, who knows. From everything that I have heard and that I know, Tarkov was something that was supposed to be made, released, and then moved on from to this Russia whatever project 2028 project, which I have yet to see or hear anything about outside of speculation. Battlestate could go all in on the Tarkov 1.0 release and continue to support it for years to come. Who knows? The point is, is that the game has had the time, has had the man hours, has had the work, had it, has had the chaos, if you will, of the bad decisions as well as the good to have gotten the game to a state that broadly across the board is accessible, it's playable, it looks decent, and it performs well. This is something that the game Grey Zone Warfare really has none of. The game is only 20% complete, it runs horribly, it doesn't look good at all. I can't even play the game in my native resolution because the frame rate is so bad, I have to actually downscale my own resolution to even play the game. The systems, half of the time, at least for me, don't work. It's riddled with bugs. There are mechanics like keybinds that you have to hold that give you no option to change, to press, that don't make any sense to me considering that they're highly and frequently used keybinds like sprinting, Grey Zone has a long way to go. I love the vision and the idea of the game. I really do. I think it has a ton of potential. The game, however, just falls, again, broadly speaking, so far short of the baseline that we should be accepting and paying for in the year 2024 with the technology and resources that we have, that game developers have, it's just not acceptable to be playing and paying for alpha games and then committing as gamers to being unpaid beta, alpha, whatever, QA testers for years to come. And that's what Grey Zone Warfare is. It is a passion project that is going to take years to get to a state where they could turn around and say, hey, okay, this is it. We've got this game in the place we want it to be in. It's nearly fully finished. It's playable. It op it's optimized. It runs well. The systems are flushed out. They're flushed out. It's going to be years in the making. Arena Breakout, for whatever reason, even though they have opened the enrollment for beta testing, is still remaining exclusive and tight to the chest with their beta keys. They've only given a select few out to largely the creator community. However they're divvying those out, I don't know. But Arena Breakout simply isn't a publicly available game, so I can't play it. I've signed up for the beta, I'm waiting on a beta key, I don't have a beta key, I can't play the game. So Arena Breakout as of right now is not a threat, it is not large competition in the space. You can't release your game in beta to 500 people and then expect it to maintain any sort of rele relevancy in, the, in terms of competition. Escape from Tarkov simply is the most well-performing, well-integrated, systematically fleshed out extraction shooter that we currently have. 
If there's another one that I don't know about, then please let me know. But in all honesty, I don't think there is because Tarkov is the OG. Every game that releases that's anything like Tarkov at all always gets compared to Tarkov. I mean, hell, even Call of Duty DMZ, which was a, a complete joke of a game, was compared to Tarkov before anyone knew what it actually was. So at the end of the day, what are we left with here? I mean, really, what are we left with? Either I spend another $2,000 to upgrade my machine to play an alpha game, I continue to wait for who knows how long to play Arena Breakout, or I continue to play the only game in this space that has the time, the man hours, the performance, the systems in place to play today, right now. And again, I wanna make it clear, I do not in any way, shape or form support the decision that Battlestate Games made to monetize the unheard of edition portion of the game. The claims that they made, the shady practices in editing their website to try to cover their tracks, from the original promises they made to the Edge of Darkness owners, I don't support it and I don't think people should pay for it. Again, they have reverted a lot of those things. I think it's a $50 upgrade now for Edge of Darkness owners. Still, that's not what was promised. It's not okay. But I'm just sitting here thinking, what the hell are we supposed to do? I mean, we all want new games. We all want well-crafted experiences and Hellblade 2 was the most well-crafted experience that I've played in years across any genre. And all that game is is basically just walking and occasionally swinging a sword at some people. So anyway, I thank you very much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, throw a like on the video. It helps a ton, lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. If you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking around. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm playing Tarkov again as part of my rotation. I'm enjoying my time with it. It's still the best experience as far as an extraction shooter is concerned in my eyes. Nowhere in my library do I have another game that's like it. Uh, maybe one day Grey Zone will be there. Eventually Arena Breakout will hopefully be public and we can swap over and see what we think. But right now, this is just where we are. So let me know what you think down below. Dig through the archive of videos here on the channel. We have a ton of content across a lot of games. If you enjoyed your time enough to subscribe and come back, then I'd love that. Love to have you in the live stream, be a part of the community. I'll see you guys in the next video.